U.S. Air Force awards Lockheed Martin $1 billion hypersonic missile contract. It appears that the U.S. Air Force is taking recent reports of Russian and Chinese hypersonic weapon systems seriously. Hypersonic weapons have long been considered a potentially revolutionary weapon that permanently alter the battlefield of the future. By flying at speeds of over Mach 5, 3,836 miles per hour, 6,175 kilometers per hour, missiles or ballistic projectiles would not only be far harder to engage and destroy with defenses designed to combat incoming supersonic weapons, but their extremely high inertia would make these missiles extremely destructive even if they carried no warheads. Lockheed Martin a contract worth up to 928 million US dollars to develop a conventional strike weapon capable of flying over five times the speed of sound. The company's Lockheed Martin Space Division in Huntsville, Alabama will carry out the indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract on the air-launched standoff missile. The Pentagon's top weapons supplier just got one step closer to handing hypersonic weapons to the U.S. Air Force. John Snyder, Lockheed Martin Vice President of Air Force Strategic Programs, said in an emailed statement. We are excited to get to work on the hypersonic conventional strike weapon program. This effort is one of two hypersonic weapon prototyping efforts being pursued by the U.S. Air Force to accelerate hypersonics research and development, says Air Force spokeswoman Anne Stefanik in a statement. The Air Force is using prototyping to explore the art of the possible and to advance these technologies to a capability as quickly as possible. What's more, Lockheed Martin is in the process of developing the SR-72 a hypersonic unmanned plane. The SR-72 is envisioned to operate at speeds up to Mach 6. And while the hypersonic SR-72 isn't expected to be operational until 2020, the company sees developing a platform of that magnitude as a game-changer. Russia and China have already claimed to have not only created, but even deployed hypersonics though the credibility of this remains an open question. Nevertheless, the U.S. Air Force seems to be taking the threat of a new moment to heart with the new contract that tasks Lockheed with the design, development, engineering, systems integration, test, logistics planning, and aircraft integration support of an American hypersonic standoff missile beginning in the 2018 fiscal year. The company S. Huntsville, Alabama based Space Division. An all and her based team that will take advantage of the local team S. expertise in aircraft integration also will be involved, a spokeswoman said in an email. The contract puts the company in the middle of a weapons race that has seen China and Russia aggressively pursue hypersonic missiles. According to CNBC, Air Force General John Hyten told an armed services committee that the U.S. needed to develop the system as a deterrent to other countries. We don't have any defense that could deny the employment of such a weapon against us, he said in March. The contract calls for the missile S design, development and testing, along with its integration with aircraft. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.